problem is no more than natural variability. It's the hottest decade ever, if you average decade only. It's not scientifically relevant, that's excuse number 23. There are 52 ways to explain the pause. Coincidence, and pine aerosols, and volcanic aerosols. Chinese coal use, or maybe Montreal Protocol. Or maybe media, that's a historical. There are 52 ways to explain the pause. 52 ways to explain the pause. It's low solar activity. Models ain't in tune with natural variability. Unusual climate anomaly. The observations are shaky. Faster Pacific trade winds. Slower trade winds. PDO and AMO. Fuel me knows you see. It's low solar activity. Models ain't in tune with natural variability. Unusual climate anomaly. The observations are shaky. Faster Pacific trade winds. Slower trade winds. PDO and AMO. ULB knows you see. Oceans aid to the global warming, El Nino's are all run. We are in the negative phase of interdecadal Pacific Oscillation. Solar cycle driven ocean temperature variation. Some of the 52 ways. Climate is less sensitive to CO2 than we do. Models do explain the pause, or its increased CO2. Transport's missing heat is hiding in ocean too deep to view. There are 52 ways to explain the pause. 52 ways to explain the pause. It's low solar activity. Models ain't in tune with natural variability. Unusual climate anomaly. The observations are shaky. Faster Pacific trade winds. Slower trade winds. PDO and AMO. Fuel me knows you see. It's low solar activity. Models ain't in tune with natural variability. Unusual climate anomaly. The observations are shaky. Faster Pacific trade winds. Slower trade winds. PDO and AMO. Fuel me knows you see.